Hi there. So, how do we get a really great fitting denture just like this that just sits within all of the soft tissues and it's really solid, we can push on that. It's got great stability and also good retention too, some suction on that when pulling on it. So, and the secret to this is to record a superb impression of that area there. So, it's all about the primary impression being overextended to produce a perfectly extended special tray and I just want to share with you the design of that special tray and exactly how to do that. So first of all on the primary cast the retromolar pad is just drawn around. And there's also a little sinew that just joins the base of the retromolar pad there just like this and if you look in patient's mouths you'll often see this sinew here which is a connection of the buccinator so we've got to avoid that and then sweep around there the second part is to draw this two millimeters before the depth of the reflection of the sulcus so i want the special tray to be slightly short of the full functional width and depth of the sulcus in that area so it's two millimeters short of that sweep that forward and just keep it out of the way of any frenum that is usually in about the canine region just here. Bring this further forward and then this front section here I want again this to be two millimeters short of the depth of the functional depth of that sulcus so this is going to be recorded in the impression material. If we flip over to the other side if we look from the top to the bottom of the retromolar pad I then draw a vertical line from the middle of the retromolar pad bring that down and then sweep that onto right onto the mylohyoid line and I bring that forward to about the canine region which is where the sublingual gland comes up I then draw a second line which is two millimeters behind this and I draw that down vertically and follow my first line and join it up at this divergence point here. And then finally, I draw a line right on the edge of the mandible, this lingual edge of the mandible all the way around, avoiding the genioglossus insertion. So this genial tubicle, keeping that just out of the way. So that's one side done. I repeat that on the other side and then the special tray is made, the custom tray is made to the outside line of this here with three stub handles there. So this is all summarised nicely on my um, denture construction manual which you can download from my website there and so this is a nice six step process in order to design the special tray and this is really really crucial. And then from that, I then do a working impression using that special tray to produce this, the dentures. And then that denture has maximum stability and also suction if we can generate that too nice as well. I know if we combine that with some lovely looking denture teeth, the patient can be nicely restored. So, thanks very much. Bye.